Wow. So I'm Anna Zizel, AKA Trans Alien. So my work as an artist is really about the projecting utopias, you know, to make them real. And my experience on this planet, so uh, about everything, I start to know this place from this cosmovision of a stranger on the earth, you know. I and I'm also you. a founder of the Collective Marsha, which is a collective, a social cultural collective of trans people here based in Sao Paulo. Yes, uh, my name is Audrey Vernecki. I am a member of this collective. I am a producer, cultural producer. Our meetings as a collective and as people. Uh, I mean, it had to, it had to happen, and yeah. this meeting creates uh, all the things that we here to talk about, and all the things we want to talk about uh, the future and things we're doing. That it's about this future we're building right now. <laughs> hey, no, first of all, your accents and your energies are amazing. I'm really, really happy yeah, to get to so like to, to talk and like to share. Um, we definitely in in an age where this kind of of conversation and this kind of connectivity is just so important. Um, okay, so my name is uh, Bonaventure. Uh, I'm a Swiss and Congolese um, musician and performance artist, and at the moment I'm working. Um, and living in Kampala, Uganda. As, as an African person, to come back here in Africa is... <sighs> girls, there is a lot. <laughs> there is a lot of spirit. I there can is even a lot imagine. Of dreams. <laughs> there is a lot of like spiritual power that somehow yeah. I didn't have access to that when I was living in Europe. You know, like... It's very different mm -hmm. when you like on the land that holds so much power to your own ancestry. And to the person that are organizing this conversation, I was saying the other day that one of the trigger moments in my life to really start thinking about coming back to Africa was the tour that I did in Brazil. And really, uh, yeah, really, really. Literally, the energies that are in Brazil and like this Afro descending force and this um, this warmth, but not only also the positive stuff, also the darkness that I felt there in Brazil. All of those things really kind of like opened my eye in the in the sense like that I was like really realizing like to be outside of the West is something that is a goal for me. It's a goal, you know, and to be around Afro descending people, to be around black people, I like it's the trip in Brazil that made me realize how much I needed that on a daily basis. Like I don't, I really wanted to limit my proximity with whiteness and with the West in general. Mm -hmm. so, you got me thinking, yeah. you got me thinking that you are, we're connecting the body and the mind in this, in our works, it's about the movement that runs in our veins and our blood that moves everything around us. And when you talk about Brazil and this experience, it's about our ancestry too, and something mm -hmm. that it's been erased by the colonization that in it's our jobs to bring it back and research in our history. You got yeah, me thinking a lot to, of this. To recognize, to recognize also that we are not just the children of our parents. Like we literally mm -hmm. have like, we are part of this lineage. We are part of a heritage that sometimes it can be like a real weight on the shoulder. It, it's really hard because as you just said, we have so much work to do. Mm -hmm. As you know, you know what I mean? Like we have so much research to do and yes. 
very often it comes at a price. It comes at a price. Like it's not, it's not free to also open your third eye. It's not free. Like then you really start realizing things about your environment and how your environment can affect the relationship that you have with your multiple selves, you know? Yes, definitely, definitely. Ao terreno do inimigo, vamos tomar. muito o que a gente vem falando sobre travestis estarem uh, propondo novos projetos de mundo, sabe? A marcha é mais um desses projetos, é mais uma dessas utopias que, tipo, tá se tornando real, sabe? Não é à toa que, <risos> que eu sou essa criatura totalmente lúdica e utópica e ao mesmo tempo que trabalha com o concreto, com a realidade a partir dessa utopia. Né? mas enfim com, com a força e a fúria de fazer essa utopia é, se tornar viável sabe palpável para gente porque é isso que a gente merece yeah it was me in the voice actually <laughs> I always trying to not to get so emotional about it. Uh, we've been doing this work since uh, 2018, right? And it's really about uh, praise our sisterhood, you know, in these connections, in these exchanges that we are making in this moment. So uh, all of the work that we develop right now is really about to uh, praise and celebrate our existence here in Brazil in front of this government that's so awful to all of us, you know, even LGBTQ community, uh, Black community, indigenous community. indigenous community. So this work that we develop right now in this moment is uh, really about uh, reaffirmating our uh, our lives here, you know, uh, that I think that is so important to us. It's a big it's a big thing for us because we understanding that there is nobody but us that will talk about our lives, talk about what matters to us, talk about not just our depths, not just uh, mm. putting in the news. We're not talking about it anymore. We're talking about our lives and what we are creating and through this fucked up system that wants to kill us and we're refusing to be killed by it. No, I really praise you for that. It's such an important work um, to reestablish, okay, what is our narrative and how can we create new ways um, to broadcast that?
okay, like what is it to adore a God blindly? And what is it to sometimes you adore a DJ the same way yes. that you would yeah. adore a God, you know, like, and it's really interesting also to try to develop a body language together with the choir because the, this theater piece, it was commissioned by theaters in Europe, in Switzerland. The Arsenic Theater in Lausanne, my, my hometown, is the, the producer of this piece. And there is a lot of questions also that come when me as an Afropean, I go back to Africa to develop a piece, like a theater piece with only black people that I share with my Congolese heritage. But also, like, there is so much, like, question that goes into showing a black work in Switzerland, where our public is going to be 89% white, you know? And it's a piece that we're developing without language. Like, you, you won't have any dialogue. You will have a lot of, mm -hmm. of music, a lot of lyrics. But um, we decided to really focus on this universal language of being a human looking for trends. Because, you know, the way music works, like on a scientific level, even like our brain are answering to brain waves that can bring us to a trance. So music is magic. Yeah, this energetic, <laughs> energetic power that yeah. comes across. It's all about trends, you know, ones that we of us uh, were made uh, out of frequency. Uh, the yeah. fragrance of itself is the sound, is the music, is everywhere around us. You know, to put the accent on the energies is such mm -hmm. an important thing because um, we are really linked, all of us. Yes. Yeah. And it sounds so fucking corny in the 3D world, but like, I really do believe in. Um, in quantum memories or in collective knowledge, you know? Yeah. Yes. When I'm producing a track and that I'm on this vibration, you know, this higher vibration mm -hmm. of creativity, like uh -huh. there is so much It's a stage. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the inside. It's, yeah, absolutely. It's really just like, you know, going on this other level of like knowing. But the thing that I'm very conscious of when we're talking about ideas, when we're talking about ownership, you know, the ownership of a sound, like, you know, Michael Jackson, yes. he has like this ownership of like, hee -hee. we know it's him. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see the, it like, makes part of the, us. Yeah. Like all of those things, I really do believe that there is, there is a connectivity and that if you are not doing music, if you are not having ideas, if you are not inspired all the way in Brazil, my creative process is going to be hurt as well. But if you are inspired, if you are meeting with your community, if you are celebrating each other's life, it's easier for me to create the same space here in Uganda. You know, At even the end of the day, we are all connected, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, I think like Art is a beautiful conductor to bring yes. out, you know, it's, it's almost like a pretext to me yes. to bring out those frequencies and everything.